Tim's going to put on the coitus chain. The coitus chain? It's coitus chain. C L O Y E S, Cloys! Cloys! Alright, so a lot of people, or some people, may suggest doing a double roller chain when you're trying to make um, a little over a thousand horsepower. <clears throat> We're trying to make like, we over here. Who is that, Dingo? No. Trying to see the Nova? Nova. Aww. Okay, you can record Nova. Nova. All right, beep 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 beep. She'll get hair. We have an open engine, Nova. No huskies allowed. She's not allowed in here when we have opening the engine. All right. So what I was saying was, a lot of people would recommend a double roller chain on something that you're trying to make over a thousand horsepower with. I'm sure that's all fine and dandy. I just don't want to deal with clearancing and shenanigans. Uh, so people will tell you it's not that big of a deal. I don't care. Anyways, so what we're doing is putting a Cloy's, um, it's their ultra duty, extreme duty chain. It is 20% stronger than their standard chain. Um, should be fine. So just pop off this timing cover here and um, I'm going to drop the oil pickup and pull the oil pump off so we can swap out the chain. Nova, stop it. And I also have a new front seal for the balancer, whatever you call it, dampener. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is line this dude up dot to dot. Make sure that's where it's supposed to be. And then I think, um, no, I'm going to have to loosen my pickup. Okay, dot to dot, that's good. Hopefully it doesn't move when I rattle this Jackson off. Don't think it moves, should be good. Yeah, that's good. So I'm just going to swing under here right fast and I'm going to unfasten the <coughs> Seven sixteenths. We're looking for a nine sixteenth, I think, or maybe a thirteen. Where's your turtle? Uh, I think um, Mr. Turtle is probably off for today. Let's check his schedule. His schedule. Did I say schedule or schedule? First time. Because if I said schedule. That means I gotta start saying schedule more because I make fun of it. And now I'm actually starting to say it like that in reality. Schedule? Yeah. I started off just saying it as a joke, but I think now I'm starting to actually say it. Alright. So. I've loosened. One of the cool things about what I just did here with the car, see, and I'll start saying car. With the car is, I can now drop the oil pan. And so I can roll some bearings into this Jackson if I need to. <clears throat> if one needed to do such a thing, it is an option. Um, I'm not prepared. I could never be on TV. They'd fire me. 
I'd start filming and I'd be like, I need, I need to go find my tools. I know the fun song. This is like the worst episode ever. But you lied. I know. She doesn't know more than two. I Spongebob know. Quotes. Four years later. Well, that's everywhere. She doesn't know any of the... You know what I mean? You know what I mean? This, the Squeaky Pickles episode. When Mr. Krabs sells Spongebob the Krusty Krab for his Pretty Patty stand. You know the Pretty Patty episode? Sure. Goodness. Mermaid Man Barnacle Boy? Yeah. You actually probably do know that one. I do. Like Mermando? Mermando. <laughs> We had a salesperson approach us on a hoverboard today. He was flying? I was left outside to well, die. Listen, I don't want to buy anything. And if I wanted to buy something, I'm going to go and buy it. I don't want somebody coming to my door at 6.30 at night trying to sell me something. Well, and the sale ends tomorrow, so. It always ends tomorrow. Alright, so now... I'm just going to rattle these Jacksons off as well. But I think those are actually, those are 26 pounds. Alright, so let's get serious real quick. I've been serious the whole time. Serious Black? Yes. I'm going to die. Yes. We got a Vada Cadaver. By who? Regina Jones? What's her name? Regina Jones? No, Beatrix. What's her real name? I don't know. Regina. It's not August. Regina George. <laughs> Regina George is Rachel McAdams. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even remotely similar. Not even the same genre? I don't think so. That girl was in Sweeney Todd. Regina George. Yeah, she plays with Johnny Depp mm -hmm. in like every Tim Burton movie ever made. Yes. Now, I will tell you, folks, if you are looking to get some of that chain flop out of the way, this chain, the Koi's Extreme Duty, now you're going to pay probably three times what you paid for the regular whole kit. I'm not going to lie, this chain is $160 for a chain. But that is... Um, Maybe you should lie. <laughs> I can't lie. I should probably not mention that. Well, my wife is filming. Basically, we traded a week's worth of groceries for this chain. It's worth it, I'm telling you. Best chain ever. We need to put that on pause. I actually need to look up this torch clip. All right, so it's 18, no, nope, 22 on these and 18 foot pounds. I thought you said 20. Is it 22? Okay. And now, check that out. That's really minimal slop. Honestly, that's the tightest I've ever seen. That's what she said. What is she say? I don't know. So this chain, I don't know, I guess I'll save it, send it back to them and tell them, you don't need it anymore. No, it's like they're metallurgists and they're going to tell me, this was the tree. Where did I put the pump? 
So this is always a little bit tricky for me, anyhow. He doesn't want to. Okay, yeah, I'm going to And then I think. I don't know if you're supposed to shim this thing or align it or whatever. I've never had. Well, say anything. Never mind. This is how you're supposed to do it. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Mm -hmm. I have been called a doctor at a convention. Full doctors acknowledge as an equal, except for the actual PhD. He didn't really want to play along, but everybody else. Well, you know, Timothy and I don't really do a whole lot of parts, so he went to a, a medical conference with me and actually like went to the whole conference. We had the best time. Yeah, there's some issues with their software for sure. Oh my goodness. Talk about still using MS DOS and boot prompts and like not boot prompts, you know. I actually prompt commands and stuff instead of like a graphical interface. It's 2023 and we're using non-graphical interfaces. Yeah, I called it Windows 95. Windows 95 was a graphics interface. MS DOS was in, that was like what, 80 something. Like my mom was telling me. Literally on MS DOS you have to code everything like command, open file, and root this, that, and all the other, it's like insane. Anyways, so. Well, they thought that they were like doing great, so. This is supposed to be 18, but it just got clicked down to 22, so. It didn't strip out. Maybe I was supposed to do that. Anyways, those are now 22 as well. Remember, pay attention. Also, scrape the crap out of your oil pump while you're installing pick it. You know what I'm gonna do instead of actually doing that? Yeah, I know. Oh. I'm gonna slide under here and I'm going to remove the windage tray bolt that holds the Pick up. All right, so torque spike on the we call it a crank scraper, not a windage tray. Whatever. It's 18, but I'm gonna put it at 22 just because I want to. <laughs> This engine has had an issue from the beginning of material and oil. I it was a lot. Um, and I think that just came down to lack of cleanup whenever they machined it. But we sent it back. Okay, so it started with the deck surface was terrible. You could feel it with the, your fingernail. You could hear it making a scraping noise. I can actually put a clip, I'll, I'll put that in here, I'll show kind of the initial problem with it. But anyways, you could see how my finger was, fingernail was scraping across it, so I was like, that's not going to work. I talked to the guy and he's like, oh, that'll be fine, MLS gaskets need a little bite. No, they don't. You want as smooth of a surface as possible for an MLS. But um, anyways, so I sent it back, he paid for shipping there and back and had it redecked or they played or put a plate and ground it down, whatever they did, cleaned it up. I think they actually used a different block. I think somebody messed up. But I think um, <clears throat> they just didn't clean out the the milling wherever they decked the heads or the, or the deck the surface or whenever they were boring it out because there's like actual shavings. Isn't there like red fiber in it too? Yeah, so they use like a, um, what do you call that? I don't even know, it felt, like, yeah, I guess it was like a red felt they put on top of the table. And found, I found some of that in the oil filter. 
Anyway, so me and um, Bobby took a bore scope and checked the bore. You can see, and I can show you where we looked at it earlier, where it's been scraping the sides of the walls on, on some of the spots just because there's so much material in there. I think the bearings are fine, oil pressure has been fine, but as you can see, I mean, there's we're only having like what 2,000 miles on it. That's all, I mean, that's a lot of just schmuck. So, not a whole lot I can do about it at this point. I mean, but not happy with it, that's for sure. So, we're going to clean up this pan, uh, put everything back together, do a fresh oil change and filter, and then put the front and everything back on, and then we'll be ready to crank. Hello, potential spam, leave me alone. Let's set a timer. 